Hello again, my name is Gabe Zolna. I'm going to attach an article. It has an embedded video posted by the Daily Caller. And uh, you're going to hear what uh, Jason Chaffetz has to say. He is the former member of the House Judiciary Committee. Former Utah Republican Representative Jason Chaffetz blasted Attorney General Jeff Sessions Saturday saying he should leave the Department of Justice. <clears throat> First, I think they have to rename it <laughs> the Department of Justice. When asked about sessions on Fox and Friends, Chaffetz, who served on the House Judiciary Committee, said sessions is the reason why there is a special counsel, and criticized the former Alabama senator for his leadership over the Justice Department. What leadership, huh? This guy looks like he's afraid of his own shadow. Quote, it pains me to say this a little bit, but I don't think the Attorney General is up to the job he's doing, really. Chaffetz said, the reason again there is a special counsel is because he had to recuse himself from everything. I think it's time for the Attorney General to go. You know, if Trump wouldn't have pulled this worthless bag of crap out of Alabama, Alabama would still be red. Chaffetz also said there should not even be a typical special counsel. Hmm. And praised Inspector General Michael Horowitz, saying he will come up with the most definitive report in the time frame. The former Utah congressman also criticized Sessions for not prosecuting Byron Paglioni. Remember Byron Paglioni? He's the IT technician in charge of Hillary Clinton's email, who did not respond to a congressional subpoena. Well, he's not alone. The previous attorney general, huh? Remember him? Well, he was held in contempt of Congress because he, too, didn't respond. Hmm? You know who he is, right? You want to read this, and there's a link Related, does Byron Paglioni pleading the fifth mean Hillary is more likely to be deposed in judicial watch case? Can a person with this bad a record go into human resources, Chafin joked? I mean, that's just unbelievable. What's also unbelievable is that the previous attorney general, huh, Eric H. Walter Jr., well, he wasn't held accountable for having been held in contempt of Congress. If you or I did that, we'd be in Leavenworth. <laughs> the whole thing's just a big joke. We don't have a Congress that represents the people. We have congressional representatives that represent themselves. You think not? Well, you just have to look at your bank accounts. You don't get that wealthy earning $174,000 a year. It just doesn't work that way. Watch the video and let me know what you think about this clown that Trump put in as his attorney general. You know what I think? I've said it, I don't know, 150, 200 times. Thanks for listening.